Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel and the beautiful game of Lysara Summit Kingdom where today we're going to continue the development of Talent Top and the main goal is to get up here at the top and start mining for some gold but first things first we're going to have to work on our yak production and I was thinking that I would like to change this area first because we have 2700 gold in the treasury I feel like it's the perfect moment to start replacing some of these larger industries in more compact form. If you're taking a look at this, and we'll, we have five yak pastures, if we're going to replace them with the chain of making barley fields towards hay dryer, towards compact yak breeders, we're not going to gain a whole lot of space from, from doing so, from going from one to the other. However, we are going to be able to put down a few barley fields here or we will need to put down a few barley fields here in order to make hay and that means that we could also put down a mill over here and provide these people with some Tsampa so if we get two more points here from Tsampa they, these houses will be able to upgrade to the next level thus offering us more taxes thus offering us more people which I'm sure will be much needed or later on. So let's get started. We will delete this at the moment and we are going to start with barley fields. Now would there, we win anything if we move the road one space to the right? Well looking at this it doesn't really seem like that would be the case. I mean these houses if we move one of these roads away and we would have one more space let's say we wouldn't really be able to throw anything special in the only things which is the only thing which is very small are these gardens and we already have gardens we have beautifications so it doesn't really matter let's draw a road like this and we'll start with we'll start with some barley fields and then a hay dryer. Then I'm thinking a mill over here. Another hay dryer. And then we'll have two more barley fields. And then we're gonna put down the compact yak breeders like so. And we'll just draw a road like this because we might be able to put another building here or there. So we'll drag the hay over here. Good. And then we'll supply one of these yak breeders. Then we'll do this one over here. And then we're gonna put all the barley in the mill, which is maximum production. Then we'll send it to the market and there we have it. Now we can upgrade these houses. Not only that, we can put down a few more buildings over here. Even go for something like a mandala or maybe put a house in. There's plenty of choices that we could do for that extra bit of money, that extra bit of workforce. We still need the axe. As I said, it's, it w wouldn't be the most efficient. We haven't gained that much in this little space that we had available here. As far as the axe. But as far as gold and people, I think we have done very well there. At this moment, I have to figure out where do we want to expand the yak production. I think the answer is on this other side right here. We will go upwards. And given the avalanche, maybe put down, try to stop the avalanche over here might be the best way to do this. Either that or go to this side and make yak, the yak production over here. There's a lot of space. But I don't dislike the idea. So let us put here, let's go with a shaft. Can we expand the road? If we can make a connection here. Yes. But then we do this. We'll need a bridge over here. 
I don't know exactly what happens with roads. I haven't been hit by an avalanche yet. So I'm not sure if the avalanche will cover up roads and then they'll be unusable or it just covers up buildings. Now that we are here, we can drag this road out. We can even let time fly so that we can get some extra coins. Let's see. Yeah, we, we are not covered by anything. What about fish? Can we fish on this side? Yes. Well, if we can fish on this side... And we can place bathhouses. Maybe this is another one of these areas where we can make a really good village. Which would need barley. Right? We could turn it into Tsampa and give them that. Sure. And thus, let's start our production for a few more yaks. How much barley do we get here? Only four, but we got get more hay. We get a lot more hay going up. Oh. Well, if that is the case, I'll we get up here at the top. And that that's not a bad idea. I can draw a road over here somewhere, and we can get up here, partially avoid or block the avalanche. I think I like that idea. Well, let's go. Let's do this. We'll fully commit here. Yeah, we're going on this side and I'm dragging the road over here. Then we, we need to figure out, let's see. It's quite a large area. Avalanche protect against both rushing masses of snow and the prying eyes of nosy neighbors. Blocks weak avalanches or more powerful ones already weakened by tree cover. Blocks weak avalanches or more powerful ones already... Are there avalanches which are really strong and they can't be? Increases the maximum power of nearby avalanches. I don't know exactly how this tree will protect us, these trees will protect us. It's maximum protection or maybe there are some avalanches which protect us very little. Yeah, avalanche power is two, so there might be even more difficult maps, which I love. I like that this element is not as easy as we managed to, to handle it during this gameplay. Barley farms here. Provide 960 citizens with access to praying places. Oh, so people are scared. We need to strengthen their resolve. Don't we have cover on most of them? This game also needs some overlays. But first things first, let's look for praying places. And let's see which one, ones of these don't have access to it. Because it seems more like the first building that I would give people access to. I guess in one way I could upgrade these buildings. And get a few more people. And now they have access. Well, if we need 960 people to have access to it, we can do this. There we go. That's one way to do it. And then we're going to get back up here. And we're going to put down our barley farms. Like so. And then we will have over here... Oh, could I move them? I think I could move them one higher, right? 
No, and that's actually the edge of the mountain. Okay. Should I be doing things differently? No. We'll leave it at that. We will be putting down these two haymakers here. And then we're going with two yak leaders. And one of these will fulfill one of these, and we can do that. And now we have 23 yaks for the moment. We're all fine, and we shall see whether this protects us or what happens when one of these powerful avalanches hits one of these trees. Because I don't know ex what it will do at the moment. Good. Where are we moving from here on out? Where we are making good money, and I am super happy with that. We need to provide our citizens with smoked meat at the moment. We have a few more missions going forward. This is the end. Raise a summit temple, build lift station bases and lift towers and establish a supply to the of the following resources. To the mountain peak. Butter lamps, wood, ornamented cedar. Okay, so is that like a... Uh, I guess it's like a final monument at the peak? I'm guessing that's what. Okay. We need to provide more people with more meat. And we still have some salt here. I believe at the moment we're using only two. Yes. And for it, what we needed was charcoal. And we can try to get a bit more. And a bunch of goats. And we can do a bit more of that as well. Surplus of two. Let's see if we can send this surplus somewhere else. At this moment, we're distributing there. We're not distributing down here. Would they like me? They would like smoked meat. And over on this side, they would like some meat as well. They also like Sampa, so that might be easier to provide. And a lot of enlightenment. So we're not getting a whole lot for these people, but if we were to provide these houses, it would occupy another slot, getting us closer to getting even better houses. So, let's see what we can do. I will be sending this meat here. Can it reach? Yes. There's not enough resource to send. And we need to upgrade a few more houses, but it does reach. Nice. So with this in mind, we can put down another one of these. Good, we'll take the salt from up here. Bring it down, no road connection. Ah, okay, there is no road connection actually here. So we'll have to move it, let's move it over here. Then we'll supply you with salt. Good. Do goat farms produce more meat at higher levels? No, they just produce more meat no matter what. And the range for it is not that great, but what I could do is that I could build a separate road over here, right, and try to get more production from this area. I could do like something like that, then draw a road through here, and like that. Good. Now we need just a bit of coal. Can I put two trees here? No. Only somewhere around this area. If 
If I squeeze a charcoal maker here, it wouldn't really help. I could put one here, but we just need it to reach, for example, two trees from over here. So I'm going to draw a row like this. I believe that if I put a better row down, we might be able to reach where we want. Nope, still not yet. Let's put the maximum level of road. Yes. Great. Now we're producing charcoal and we're sending it over here. And these goods, this meat will be sending it over here. Great, it worked, and it wasn't even that hard. Mm -hmm. Well, at least we have this sorted out, so we can now focus on other. Actually, why don't we use this salt for something else as well? I wouldn't mind having some butter tea. It will help me focus on our sacred quest, of course. Good idea. Butter tea has tons of vitamins. It'll be a great addition to our diet. Oh, come on, it's a delicacy. Surely even you can't resist. And yaks love the scent. Am I right, sweetheart? Oh, great. Provide 107 monks with butter tea. Let's see what this chain is all about, but I believe we need, yep, yeah, we need five levels of knowledge for butter tea. So we can build everything except for the butter tea brewer. And for that we need, so we need yak shacks or milk, which is better at lower levels, in order to turn them into butter, into butter. And then we need salt and herbs in order to make butter tea. Okay. Well. We have this small area here, we could have a few yaks, which make milk, and then we can turn it into butter. We can even connect it to this road here. And then we can get somewhere up here at the top, what's this? Buried in the snow. Okay, so for some reason, this... Avalanche power at 2 wasn't enough or wasn't stopped enough by these trees. Okay, or by either things have changed, maybe it gets more and more difficult, or I do not know exactly what happened there. Still, I guess we need to place down one of these buildings. Forty-three, offensive. Let's upgrade a few more of these houses. Buried in snow compensation. I see. Okay. Avalanche power is now at two. Yeah, things definitely change. But we'll learn. Okay, for the moment. Let's get a few more people here. Just like that. And let's start making butter beer. Now for it we would need a bit more salt. And I wonder, if I was to build another salt mine over here. And could I send the salt in the same place and have 8 salt for example? Yes, I could. 
Okay. So that is good to know. We will need more knowledge. And for that we will need more monks. I can put down another one of that of those monasteries first of all, right? No, let's go with Academy. That's only one level of knowledge and that is all we need. And we will then need to fix the amount of... Can I move this mandala anyway? No. Yeah, as soon as we're getting that extra level of knowledge, I'm guessing that people will have a few more desires going on. We'll have to fix certain problems. And we'll start with it. We're still in, in good shape as far as money goes. I will put this monastery over here. Or academy. Not monastery, academy. As we're going to the next level of knowledge. And let's just see what happens on the map. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. No snow to remove. Well, what about these? Ah, do I need a road? I guess we generally don't need roads if these are connected, but... There we go. I could have even deactivated the building. Yeah, I can disable it. I don't have to demolish it necessarily. Something to keep in mind in the future. Okay, I see that people don't really have any more desires than before. So we're good. We have now reached level 5, which means that we can start making some of this tea. First things first, we need yak shacks and we need to make it into butter. Let's put a road down here or a bridge. We'll make it less so. We'll draw a road from here to here. Then have something like this. Let's see how it's going to fit. Can't do much. So I would like to use this space here as well. Maybe I start from this side and move this one closer. Then we'll drag a road. Like so. Could I fit another one here? Only if I close this area. I don't really want to do that. We'll leave it as it is for now. Yak Utopia. Turns out the key for efficient breeding is just making yaks happy. Stress free, up, thinking, and Potter Fridays work wonders. 8 hay, 3 perfumes, and we get 86 yaks. But for perfume, we would need honey, incense makers from Cedar Grove and Herbalist, raw crystal mines, a long chain, but I get it. Oh, there's even further knowledge. There's even level 6 for die houses. Let's focus on the butter tea. So at this point we need, I will put down one of these houses because we're making 9 milk here. So if we have a carrier post, hmm. oh it's a yak shack. I thought it was the Yak Pastures, but it is not. Okay, well that is okay. Well, let's delete this then. And let's see where it was. So Yak Shacks. This is so much better. Can't fit two buildings there. But we can fit two buildings over here. And we'll drag the milk over on this side 
for now. And then we'll need to put down this butter bitter. We'll supply two for now. Actually, no. Let's do this. Let's disable this. Let's disable this one as well. Yeah, and we'll stay with one. Until we figure out how much more do we need. I think I like that idea. And then what do we do? We are going to go... We will need herbalist. We will need a salt mine. But as we said, we can already provide it from there. If I put these buildings here... I could be transporting some of the goods where we need them. Yeah, in the end, we need to get sold here. But we could have herbalists and everything else in this area. We could have the entire production chain over here. That's why I wouldn't push it too far away from this area. Yeah, we'll do like this. And then I'm going to put down these two herbalists like so. How many do we need? Three herbs, meaning that one of these could supply two of them. But once again, we would need a good shack. So... Herbalist over here. And then you supply these two. Might even have to enable these buildings and actually... Yeah, we can do it like this. They will require one more butter and we can do that to maximize production. And at this point we need one salt from this area. Can I bring it here? Not enough resources to send. Now they have enough resources to send. Now we're producing... 6, 12 butter. We have to provide monks with butter tea. We're missing a few yaks, that's why we're in the negative. But at this point what I can do is that I can put down one of these yak posts. Perfect. Which in turn means that I can take this tea and I can bring it here. I can take tea and also bring it over here, not here, over here. Look at that. I love this game. So much fun. But we need 8 yaks. So once again, we're gonna go up here where it feels like it's the perfect place to do it. I think I should be using this a lot more often than I'm doing right now. And we will do... So... How do we need? I need two more fields. I need a few more of these buildings. Yeah, we can fit two fields here. And two of these here. We'll build a road. That's it. The axe. We're still in the negative. At this point, we're in the negatives. I think overall, just because we're not making enough money, we don't have enough people. We have supplied people with goods, we have paid for high-level supply chains, but... I guess we also need to figure out... How to bring a few more of them... Around... In order for them to pay us taxes. Sorry, donations. Look at that. 
few upgrades there. What else do we want to do here? These people are very cl close to upgrading. Most of them. They just need one more type of enlightenment. And let's see what we can offer them. Enshrines you already have it. You have academy. Monastery walls are a bit weird. And I'm not going to experiment with them just yet. This gong is not reaching most people. Let's try to put it like this and then drag a road here. Good. Incense. Either get some incense or Yak Guardian. This is the Yak Guardian, 26 upkeep, requires 8 Yak Workforce. Okay. Well, there we go. And now we should be able to get a few more monks and get the next level of houses. Just like that. Awesome. What's the next mission? Provide 250 lowlanders with butter lamp. How much do we still have? Surplus is only one. So we will need to make even more. But I will need to let some time go by so that we don't go too far away. But I'm thinking that the best situation might be to give these people some of this tea. It's either them or these ones. They're a bit further away. And those are probably just a tiny bit too far. Yeah. I guess these are the, these have the most potential to upgrade to the next level. And we might want to give them tea there. Let's see. Over on this side. We say over here transport some of these goods. Provide 250 lowlanders with butter lamps. Oh, it's butter lamps, it's not butter tea. Okay. So what is a butter lamp? This is a butter lamp. Where we need the yak shack once again. To make butter. And then we're using trees in order to make charcoal. And then copper from the coppersmith to make butter lamps. Well, if I had to look at another production chain, I would firstly need to go to higher level taxes. Or to trade a bit more. Because we could make here... There's a, a copper deposit, and I'm thinking that with the copper deposit, a few trees, which hopefully will protect us even further from these two star, two snowflakes avalanche. Try to put another wall here, and that will stop us from getting our production pretty much covered up. And we can go with copper. Yeah, I believe I like that idea, and it would be a lot closer to providing the goods to these people. I think I'm happy with this idea. Yeah. However, how are we going to trade? What are we going to export for a bit more gold? Butter tea. If we can make a one more butter tea here, then I'm sure we could get some good cash from it. Yeah, we could have higher production overall. 
and maybe this is going to any surplus that we get from here maybe we can export it so let's see we would need just some extra butter so i am putting down another one of these buildings actually let's put down the trading center first because it's a larger building yeah something like that then we're doing this one over here or here good we need milk we'll send We need to spread the butter. Let me stop this for a second, pause it, so that we can send all the butter here in one place. I like to have the splice chain connected, established. Good, and now we're making even more tea. Which means that if we sell tea, butter tea at a price of 28, and we're dragging this here, 200 gold. Beautiful. I will even speed it up so that we can gather a bit of money from it. I like the fact that we can do this. We need a bunch of artisans. These people will need 3 points of prosperity and something else. Where are our other artisans? Somewhere up here, right? And these ones would just need some food. We could provide them with butter tea. We would lose some gold in the process, but we would be able to upgrade their houses. We could try to fish. And I believe that's something... I don't know if we have the space, but we can try. Fish axe. Close by. What if I... Delete of this road. One fish shack. Okay, <laughs> surprisingly it did work, now we can get a few more artisan, and we're getting these new houses, nice, we're slightly missing fish here, uh, but I think I'm okay f with leaving them like that for now, okay, once again we're making good money, super happy with it, let's start making the butter lamps. And for that we said like something like this, right? We need we'll need a charcoal maker. And this is the middle part, so we will need three of these in order to supply one of these. We only need three charcoal. We don't need these huge productions. How would snow fall? I go through here here and then just try to make something like this and hopefully this works it's two utensils okay we're making five on one of these six butter Okay, well, first building first, we'll put down a yak shack, then we are making here the butter maker, connected these two together, then we're going with a charcoal maker, however they will, these buildings will need the road, so we'll connect these first, and I guess we'll put a charcoal pile first. Like so. Good. 
Then I will need one of these carrier posts. Just because we have an excess of charcoal. We will need the copper mine on this side. I'll put another forester here, right? So, let's see. Yeah, I guess I can't really fit it further than this. And then we'll make utensils. Or, yeah, utensils in the coppersmith. Sure, we'll do five for now. We'll need another one of in the near future. Actually, no, we can do it now. And then... We put down one of these. I think we can make two, right? I think it might be a good idea to make two. Which means that we will need to double this production here. How much gold do we have? We still have plenty of gold in the ash. Not a problem. Good charcoal to both of these and utensils to both of these. And this provides us with butter lamps, which in turn, if we're putting down a, another yak post, we should be able to provide it here. And then Send it all around. They need a commodity supplier. Okay, so it's like here. Yes. But we're also losing a lot of cash in the process. We need a few more people. Like, we'll fix it in a second. Uh, let's see. Which lowlanders? I'm thinking that I could send it to these lowlanders as well. The ones which we really like. However, they need some utensils. Like this, uh, where is it? Commodity supplier. And we're going to move these houses here. Which apparently also lets us upgrade them. We'll put down a commodity supplier. Let's just see how this works. I am super curious. Surplus of seven, okay. Stand over here. And there we have it. There's a surplus of one. Spending a lot of gold in the process. Because of the 19 yaks which we need. Well, we're going to fix this soon. We also need several more people, so let me see if I can... If I can bring them up. Fine, we're done with that. How close are we to upgrading these houses? We need another level of enlightenment. If we can bring them something like incense or a yacht guardian. How big was that building? Well, not that large. We might decide to delete a house or two somewhere around here and actually place this down. Well, let's fix the yacht production first. Where did we build it? Somewhere on the side. Let's see. Place one here. I can place one here. Or even move the road going forward. I think I like this idea. We'll have that. We'll put down two more of these. And two more of these. I'm really curious to see what will happen here. Because I don't think these trees will necessarily stop the avalanche. Or it's stopping only this area. But it can go around it. We shall see. Good, we need a few more people. 
We could get a few more artisan as well, but then we will need some extra fish. But I am still thinking about these people. These people here. And then these people on this other side. But this one feel closer to upgrading. How about these ones? Ah, they're a bit far. But if I'm thinking of you... Do you have a river around here? No. But maybe I could make a fish industry with the money that we have left and send it around. Still, I am thinking Yak Guardian first. And this rule doesn't do... No, it actually does something for this house. These are chicken coops. Does one of these Yak Guardians fit here? So difficult. Well, if you're, if we cannot do this, what if we bring a few of these people here? Now we're not really super targeted. Because these people need all sorts of goods, very different goods. Not as great. You know what, I can do this. I believe I'm okay with the choice. Just like that. You can upgrade these houses. And there we have it. It's no good. What is it? Has something happened? Living conditions here, they are not good. Can you please stop scaring me if you only want to complain? Complain? With our high quality housing, we won't be able to develop this town. We will be stuck in the middle income trap and will never be able to build any temples. So say goodbye to our mission. Relax, everyone. I'm sure there's something we can do to make sure we're continuing to make progress, right? I have 42 houses of any cast at level 3. We have 17 now. So this is the moment when we need to start figuring out how to take it to the next level. I believe that the first thing we should be doing is focusing on what we can do for right now. Meaning upgrade the houses that can already be upgraded. Okay, this does not pass the bridge. Unless I put down one of these card posts. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get try to get even more fish on this side. But let's upgrade some of these buildings. They were still good on consumption. One more house. Okay, and I'll leave it at that. Let's see what other houses we can upgrade. These people here would need a lot more enlightenment. So we would either need, or we would both need a Yak yeah, Guardian, maybe some incense, maybe a mandala to bring to the next level. They would start consuming more butter tea, meaning less export. Because we are importing over here to this market, but the rest of the goods we are good on. Actually, this beekeeper is not transporting goods anywhere. We can even disable it for now. Can I put here 
Not really a lot of space for a mandala. Could be moving the beehive somewhere here. What about the yak? Yeah, definitely not the best. What would we need? The power of avalanches increased. From now on, avalanches will be even more devastating. So that's how that happens. Oof. Oof. And I definitely haven't planned for it. We need to make sure that we have ba money in the bank. Because we will need to be placing down a bunch of those shovelers everywhere. Let's see. Shrines... Yeah, Guardians. Incense. Herbalist Cedar Grove makes incense. And we send that to the Shrine. Which is like this building here. Which also spreads it around. Hmm. Well, I can only supply one type of good here. Over on this side, these people have pretty much everything, but they're already at level 3. These people need one thing. Incense? Sure, let's start making incense then. We're going to go like this, and we'll have a Herbalist and a Cedar Grove. And then we'll put down one of these incense makers. Here. Rag. Put down a shrine. Nice, like that. Upgrade these houses. Now we need a few more houses. At level 3. On this side. They would need prosperity. Either provided by butter lamps. Baths we cannot have. Utensils we can have. Ornaments, decorations, and perfumes. So we would need. I could put down decorations. I am thinking right now. So put down decorations. And this would heat very easily, these two. I, it, so if I delete this road, yeah, this shrine hits both of them. So I don't need these roads. Yeah, and we'll do something like this. I can put a tree down for this as well. There we go. What next? We said we want the lamps. Let's just see where it is. It would be great to have a menu where we could go directly to some of these cards. We we have one more butter lamp. It's not like this this huge supply of it. Where is a commodity? They don't have a commodity distributor at all. Okay, and we're not transporting anything. 
Well, let's put one now. We'll go with a commodity supplier over here. What is the closest area where we could get... Yeah, there's a copper here, so we could get a few utensils and transport them on this side. Do we have any other place where we could transform, transport utensils from? Only if we produce it at the same, the same area. Since we still have to transport it. Since we still have to transport it, what I'm thinking is that I can make a production chain over here. Or even more utensils. And then send them out to somewhere else. That is not as... Not a bad idea, I think. An expensive idea, but not a bad one. Let me put it over here. We'll have to build another one of these because we need then the copper and the transporter. Then the transporter will send it to these people. These people will send it over here. And you will go on this side. And we'll try an idea out. So if I send it over here, it says that it's a 700, 800 meter route and it needs five carriers. However, what if I connect this road here? Does that change? Does it recalculate? So we're going to go with a bridge here. We'll connect it. Yes. So that got recalculated. We can see it here from the start. All of a sudden the route is only 400 meters and it requires three carriers. Great. And now all of these people have goods and they need only one more type of good. Whatever we decide to provide them with. Did we say that we can make fish here? I believe we did. No, it's only on the other side and we'd have to transport it over here. Can I give them anything else which would be easy? Butter tea instead of exporting it. A gong. Or a Yak Guardian. The Yak Guardian has a really good range. And if we put slightly better roads on this side, I think we're going to reach everybody. The Gong has less of a reach. The Gong requires five monks. This one, requires Yak Guardian requires Yaks. So it's probably better to do something like this. of these houses still don't have everything. What is it? A rain place. I thought I fixed the problem, but it doesn't seem like that is the case. Cancel. Let's see. Can I destroy this road here and not have problems? No. More eggs, sure. We'll activate another one of these buildings. Missing resource. Ah, now, now they need a bit more meat. Some don't reach the gong, some don't have the praying place. Since I've deleted those roads.
okay that's one way to do the there this is the second one And let's put on, since I do make some extra cash, I to put on some better robes. There we go. Another mission has been completed. At this moment, we're moving into further advanced goods we're three steps away but this is going to have to be it for this episode so join me again tomorrow as we go and start providing people with tapestry where do we get that okay, we need another level of knowledge meaning a bunch of extra monks we need to move them in then we need a few more yaks then we need to start making a die house we are using raw crystals in order to produce dye. And then yak shacks in order to produce wool. But I think we're going to use the existing yak shacks and put the wool, the weaver, nearby. And then transport those goods towards the dye house. It does require a, a river nearby in order to produce this. I guess this is the next challenge. And all of these, of course, under the risk of level 3 avalanches. Which is going to hurt pretty bad. That's why we're gonna sit still here and just gather a bunch of gold. Because we will need it. But that's gonna have to be it. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like. Helps me, helps the channel grow. Would be much appreciated. And until tomorrow, I thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.